Hello beer tubers and welcome to yet another beer review with me, Peter the Master of Puppets. Today we're gonna to be looking or I'm gonna be trying my first ever beer from Drake's. Uh, Drake's Brewing Company is out of San Leonardo, California. And uh, yeah, this is the brewery that actually does uh, McKellar's beer, some of McKellar's beers here over in the States. Uh, or McKellar contract breweries there. And um, yeah, they're a pretty old brewery from 1989. I'd never heard of them. But this is their Denogonizer Imperial or Double IPA on 9.75% alcohol by volume. It's a big double IPA brewed with Columbus, Simcoe, Amarillo, and uh, Amarillo and Cascade. Uh, some nice hot varieties, especially Simcoe and and uh, Amarillo. So this should be interesting. I'm trying this one. So let's get it cracked. Hmm, not too big of a his on there, but let's get it poured. Okay, so we got the Denogonizer poured here. And it's a darker IPA. It's like a dark orange, kind of orange, rusty orange kind of color. Uh, one finger of off whitish head. Let's take all the aroma. Hmm. Smells a bit like the spent grain or the grain when you, or not the spent grain, the grain when you uh, do your uh, mash. They got some touch of caramel notes in there, kind of sweet maltiness. But a decent amount of real like bitterness to it, like some bitter um, grapefruit, like a pretty solid amount of that, which is probably from the Simcoe. A little bit of orange, kind of floral notes to it as well. Doesn't smell like smell like the freshest bottle, and I don't think they bottle date their beers. No. No, it doesn't look like it. It doesn't smell too enticing. It almost smells boring on barley wine and uh, I kind of hate saying that but that's after like having all the damn hoppy beer in San Diego some of these beers smell more barley wine territory but I think it might be because it's not too fresh maybe a little peach as well but let's give it a taste cheers mm. decent solid malt backbone to it um not the most flavorsome double IPA I've had, but it's pretty tasty. Uh, body on it is medium, dry, a lot of caramel, sweet maltiness, kind of toffee notes in there, some bread in it as well. The hot flavor in there is bitter grapefruit. I wonder, does it say how many IBUs it is on? 90 IBUs, it doesn't feel like 90. It's not too bitter. Um, those flavors are in there. A little bit of the peachy kind of flavor. Some floral notes, some pine as well. Actually, a decent amount of pine, especially in the aftertaste. But the first step, you get a little of that orangey kind of flavor. I don't know if this is how it's supposed to be. I've never seen a review of this or anything, so. Um, but it's pretty tasty. Not the best double APA I've had. I need to, uh, like, get back into the deal of drinking hoppy beers that are not overtly fresh. As I had it in San Diego and get back to appreciating them, but it's probably gonna be a little hard. But it's pretty tasty. So uh rating wise for the Drake's Denogonizer Imperial IPA. I'm gonna give it an eighty. It's a great beer. Really tasty, but it just doesn't go up to that nineties level because it doesn't have that kind of nice juicy component which I really like in in IPAs, especially double IPAs. It's got more, it's got a real solid balance with a malt backbone, but it could have been done better. So yeah guys, that does it for this beer review of the Drake's Denogonizer Imperial IPA. Remember to let me know what you think of this brew if you've had it. As always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page, and Twitter, and I'm gonna say cheers. And I'm gonna see you guys in another beer review.